<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and we are here at the 2022 New York Auto Show. So excited to dive into some of the cars here. Behind me I have a 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5, Hyundai's new electric car. I've never toured it before. So you guys are going to get my first look, first impression on this brand new electric vehicle. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of two and a certified child passenger safety tech. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and then comment below about which other kind of car tours I should do next. Let's get started. Okay, there is so much to break down on the exterior of this car. I am having so much fun seeing what all the manufacturers are doing with their new electric vehicles. All those concept cars or crazy versions of them we've seen in the past are like honestly starting to come to life and the Hyundai Ionic 5 is no exception. Let's start by looking at the front end grill. If you notice, on electric vehicles, there is no engine, so there is nothing to cool off. So they can have a lot more front fun with their front end and their front fascia. As you can see right here, super, super futuristic. A lot of beautiful elements. Okay, coming down here, it gets a little busy. It's interesting, like this like hood right here that then kind of goes under this sharp angle. Don't know what this is. The headlights are crazy. They look like little like pixelated boxes. Insane. A lot of different elements on here. Some chrome detailing on the bottom. I mean, overall, it looks like nothing on the road, which I think is probably the goal of this vehicle. But let's move along to her side profile. And we will start with the wheels. Check out these wheels. These are some of the coolest wheels I've literally ever seen. 20 inch wheels on this model, beautiful chrome. And then some of this detailing is like insane. Like even this Hyundai logo like completely embedded in there. These look, I mean, these, these, they look so futuristic. Even if you look at the bumper or the fender right here, look at this like just different detailing right there. Just to really elevate the look, make it feel like a luxury car kind of thing. Okay, moving on to our back end. I think this is where it gets really fun and interesting. We have a huge lip over the roof right here, a really slanted windshield. The Ionic 5 in white with that same kind of like pixelated light design that we saw in the front headlights. We love some cohesion in a vehicle and this Hyundai Ionic 5 is no exception. Even the little tail light design right here, how cool is that? I mean, every piece of this car is like so thoughtfully designed and I love to see it. Let's take a look at the interior. Okay, here's a shot of me inside this Hyundai Ionic 5. Living large is the only way it can be described. Let's start by breaking down this door panel. I'm loving this kind of like bluish gray leather with this little, I mean, this is beautiful huh, down here, like a little like marbleized design leather with again, those same little box pixels. Love it, don't really know what it means, but I'm happy to see it. Kind of a lame side coming right there. Bose speakers looking good. And I cannot wait to break down the rest of my driver's comfort. So let me get to another side. Okay, let's keep breaking down the features on this Hyundai Ionic 5. Y'all, it is, it's so fun. It's freaking stunning. Okay, steering wheel design, very simple, very basic. Look at this, the same pixels. I don't understand the four dots. This very much looks like someone's leaving you on red. Like they're about to text back and then they stop. Kind of strange. I think this little drive mode button right here is actually so cute right there. Like what a fun little place to put that. All of our steering wheel controls, super easy to use. They're like a touch screen type button, which is kind of fun. And I actually think this car does a pretty good job of its screen to button ratio, especially for an electric car. Some of the newer electric cars I've been seeing lately, it's all screen, no buttons. I really appreciate when the manufacturer decides to pull certain things out to make it easy to use. So you can see like all my climate control is right here, super easy. I have a few quick buttons here, awesome. And I love that Hyundai does this. They even include a little star right here, and this is a customizable button. So this button can be anything you want. So whether that be quiet mode, turning the display on and off, you can kind of decide what you want that button to be. So I think that's super cool. The display is gorgeous. I mean, look at the aesthetics on this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how it all kind of goes into the dash as well. I think it looks beautiful. The little ledge right here is really nice at making it look built in. It's quiet mode, like we, we love a family friendly feature. Thank you Hyundai for always doing the most. As far as the range is concerned on this vehicle, so it's about a 300 mile range. That's kind of standard on what we're seeing on these electric cars. Comment below about if 300 miles is enough range for you. I'm really interested to see like for, from a family's perspective, what range level would you guys be more comfortable with? Because as more and more SUVs are coming out, I'm starting to really consider these for some families. Okay. Fun stuff down here. Like, what is this? Don't know, but I'm happy it's there. Like, what a great place for a water bottle. I've got my USB and a 12 volt right there. Love this open floor space. It just really gives like an open concept kind of feeling in the vehicle. Two cup holders here, two more USBs. And then it's just like little cubbies galore. I mean, look at all this. You can put this up, you can open this. It's just like super fun and open. Like, I love this open area right here. Your phone. 
My head clearance is great in this vehicle as well. I mean, it's super, super spacious. Okay, let's hop in the back seat. Okay, here's a shot of me in the back seat of this Hyundai Ionic 5. I have this seat set for myself at about six feet tall and check out my knee clearance. I mean, she is a roomy five passenger car and we, you know what, we love to see it. As far as my uh, comfort, as far as my passenger comfort is concerned, we've got two super lame mesh back pockets, not my favorite, but I am loving this like heathered canvas material on the back of the seat. That's just like another fun element that they're introducing. I mean, I should probably count up all the different materials used in this car. It's a lot, but again, it's cohesive. It does not feel random. It feels honestly beautifully designed. Like I'd love them to do my kitchen. Cause like I think they just have it figured out. I've got two USBs down here as well as another little cubby. The vents on this car are great. Instead of on the back of the center console, when they're on the door frame right here, I think that you could just get such better ventilation, especially for children in car seats. So I think that's a great feature. We even have built-in sunshades on this car, which is incredible. And then what you're probably here for is the car seat setup. So pretty standard. We have lower anchors on this seat and this seat, tether anchors across the bench. Um, these seats look great for car seats. The middle seat looks concerningly small. I don't have my car seats with me today, but as an expert who's put many car seats in many cars, I don't feel good about three of anything in this vehicle. Um, if we pull out this middle seat, we have two little baby cup holders here. Cute, cute, cute. I do appreciate that the seats can recline. A lot of the time in five passenger cars, you can't always recline the seats. And when a seat reclines, it makes it a lot easier to install a car seat because you can kind of use that leverage against you. So I do give them an A plus for that. Um, the headrests are removable, love to see it. Panoramic sunroof, looking darling. Not loving, I mean, I guess it's a white interior car, so like Cheeto fingers are gonna happen, but like it just always makes me nervous when it's not leather and it's like a material. Um, but besides that, I mean, I think it's a beautiful car. And I think for two kids, I mean, all day long, if you wanna be an electric car girly, be an electric car girly and consider the Hyundai Ionic 5. I'm pretty impressed. No. Okay, I'm actually having a lot of fun with closing the door because I just think it's a little bit unique. So there's like a little legend in here that has a light, which I would imagine you could change that color. We didn't put it the display, but I'm sure they have that. And then that's how you close the doors, which is like easy to grip. I don't understand all of this. Like I liked it on the outside. I don't feel a need to bring, it's like giving me Wordle vibes. It's like <laughs> Wordle unlimited only. Okay, let's peek in the trunk. Oh my gosh, cute. Did you guys see that? Okay, let's talk about the trunk. We have a little bit of light right here. We love a little bit of illumination. A cargo cover for your privacy, easily to be removed. And then the trunk space is honestly pretty decent. Like, definitely could fit a stroller in there. A little bit of a cubby space at the bottom, nothing crazy. It's kind of interesting how it kind of opens very hatchbacky vibe. I think that's kind of cool. I mean, even like, look at this little ledge. I actually like love this. Like, put your phone there, put your cup of coffee there. Just like, I love a place to put a thing. So. Power tailgate. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up my Hyundai Ionic 5 tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is just kind of like my first little mini tour. I have not had the chance to drive the vehicle, but you know, as soon as I get my hands on it, I will do a full tour with the car seats, with driving impressions, doing all the things. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.